Gotta go now, gotta go Swerving in my whip, can't slow down Driving fast with cars, boy, I'm on the road now Automatic star, my vid take a call now. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the Rose Session Central I'm the Nigerian and Nemesis and in today's video we're going to be talking about a new feature that Clash Royale has added into the game and that is choosing your own starting hand before the battle even starts. I know guys this is absolutely ridiculous and this feature is kind of hidden so that's the reason why I wanted to make a video on it. But if you are new to the channel welcome let's dive right into exactly how you can choose your own starting hand in this game. So first of all what you want to do is slide over to your deck slot. As you guys can see I've got a golem beatdown deck in here with the elixir collector. Now what's the biggest problem that golem uses? usually run into that is not having your collector in the starting hand so for me personally if I want to play this deck I have to put the top four cards right here into the deck and make that my starting hand so whatever cards you pick and put into that top row that will become your starting hand in the battle so for this for this sake I'm actually gonna choose my elixir collector because golem has to have the elixir collector in the starting hand so we'll put the collector over here I actually do like having the night witch as well so we'll put in a night witch we'll put in the mega minion and we'll go with the tornado honestly just in case we do end up going up, up against like a hog rider we want to drag the hog rider towards the king tower so that right there is going to be my starting hand once I start the battle now how to enable the feature you got to slide over here to the right side and hit friendly battle and once you get to here you have 1v1 and 2v2 so obviously we want to do this for the 1v1 battles you hold down the button and check this out guys boom you got the fixed deck order right there you want to slide that to on and once you turn that on that enables the fixed deck that allows you to use those first four cards at the top as your starting hand and now we're going to hit friendly battle and let's see who accepts this dylan or nick agrees who was fastest it was dylan I told them that whoever accepts the battle will be into today's video, but check it out guys, we actually do have the Night Witch, the Elixir Collector, the Mega Minion, and the Tornado here in our starting hand, which is ridiculously good for us. Uh, we're going to start off with the Elixir Collector because that's what Golem users love to start out with, and that's how you choose your starting hand here in Clash Royale. Currently, this feature is only allowed in Friendly Battle. They're currently just testing it out, seeing what everybody thinks about it, so make sure you go test this out as well, and let the Supercell know, like, what do you think about this? Do you like having the fixed deck? Do you like having to choose your entire first hand? In the comment section down below, let's have a conversation. What do you guys think about adding this feature to the game? I personally, personally think that it kills the Elixir Collector because everybody knows how deadly the Collector is late game. If you let Collectors stack up, you automatically lose. So in the starting hand, everyone's going to want to start out with the, um, everybody's going to want to start out with their counter. They want to make sure they have their spell in the starting hand. They're going to want to make sure they have the minor, mainly because he's a good starting hand to, you know, just, just to start with. And then on top of that, he does a really good job at countering the Elixir Collector. So that's, an, that's another really good reason for uh, choosing the Collector in your starting hand. And, or choosing the, uh, the miner in your starting hand to make sure you do counter that elixir collector. Let's go ahead and use a tornado right over here real quick just to make sure the P.E.K.K.A doesn't get all the way to our tower. But he does have a nice little poison in his starting hand. Either way, we take care of his mega minion there. But I just think that the elixir collector takes the hardest L if you use this. I was on Twitter earlier, saw some of the pros talking about it, and Colton was saying he would like to see this feature added, but instead of making it all four cards, in your starting hand he wants to choose just one card that you can start out with and then choose one card that you don't want in your starting hand just just to add a little bit more control to the game and i definitely agree with that that would be pretty nice to have in the game but other than that i think having four cards in your starting hand is just a little bit too much because i've never played a card game where you exactly get to choose your starting hand which is what i find pretty interesting about this option but then again it adds a little bit of skill to it can you predict what your opponent is going to start with if you can are you going to counter it beautifully things like that so i think it's a good feature to add as well but i still think that four cards is a little bit too much and i think colton has the answer there so let me know what you guys think like i said before let me drop off a zap over here for his uh for his uh what is it one of those goblins just let me know what you guys think about that and we will talk about that because i think that it's a really cool feature and it should be added to the game but not so extreme but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode about this new feature make sure you do go try it out and make sure you let supercell know what you think about the new feature and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace this is exclusive Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up oh.